What's up, guys? I'm Caden with Crypto Now or Never. Today, I'm going to be giving an update on HBAR. Make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video. None of this is financial advice. Let's get into it. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it up with some work and belief. It's crazy how in my video only three weeks ago, H4 was trading at just over six cents and I had it drawn on an ascending triangle and I called out the golden cross. And this is H4 currently. It broke out of the ascending triangle perfectly and it's trading at over eight and a half cents. And at its peak, it was over nine and a half cents. So had you guys taken this trade, you could have made up to 55% gains in three weeks. And if you compare that to the stock market where the average return is 10% in a year, that would mean we made in three weeks what the stock market makes in over five and a half years, which are incredible gains. And if you enjoy making gains in the crypto market, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button help me pump that algorithm i would greatly appreciate it but i'll go deeper into the charts at the end of the video and there are some bullish indicators that you want to see so stay tuned but anyways h is currently trading at over eight and a half cents its market cap is 2.9 billion which ranks 33rd among all cryptocurrencies and its circulating supply is up to 33.6 billion out of a max supply of 50 billion which is just over 67 percent in circulation and if you guys are looking to trade h bar i recommend using binance or coinbase i think those are the two easiest centralized exchanges to use but now we'll go ahead and hop into some HBAR news. So this is their Twitter, which has 316,000 followers. And they just reposted Hashback Wallet 11 hours ago. It's been a momentous year. As we say goodbye to December, let's reflect on some of the highlights and achievements of 2023. Firstly, thank you to our amazing Hedera community. We couldn't have done it without you. And if you guys are still looking for somewhere to store your HBAR, honestly, I recommend using Hashback. I know this seems rather convenient because this is a Hashback tweet, but this is personally what I use to store my HBAR. And now what the HBOR Foundation posted 11 hours ago. The future of financial services is on-chain. The UK's largest active asset manager began tokenizing its multi-billion dollar flagship, Aberdeen Standard Liquidity Fund as RNAs on Hedera. Now, obviously, I'm not going to show you guys this video as it's 47 minutes long, but HBOR continues to shock me every time I cover them. Their partnerships and connections just get better and better and better. And then SaucerSwap posted 19 hours ago that they have a new volume all-time high. SaucerSwap can't stop breaking records. Thanks to our expanded global community we're witnessing unprecedented growth on-chain volume on hedera is increasing rapidly and we welcome everyone to try hedera's DeFi to see what all the hype is about and i've talked about saucer swap in several of my previous hbar videos the reality is that if hedera is going to thrive they need a successful dex all of the popular layer ones have one whether it's uniswap for ethereum pancake swap for bnb so on they all have one so definitely keep your eyes on saucer swap but now we'll go over some macro news that could affect HBAR's price action, even though it's not directly correlated to HBAR. So this is Watcher Guru's Twitter, and they posted December 30th that Vitalik released an updated roadmap for Ethereum. Now, I'm not going to go super in-depth into this, but I definitely recommend checking it out. It truly is amazing to see how smart this guy is. But now what I really want to talk about, what they posted December 30th. On December 6th, JP Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon said he would close down Bitcoin and crypto if he were the government. And this is the video. Crypto, Bitcoin, etc. You pointed out the only true use case for it is criminals, drug traffickers, anti-money laundering, tax avoidance. And that is a use case uh, because it is somewhat anonymous, not fully, and because you can move money instantaneously and because it doesn't go through, as you mentioned, all these systems have built up over many years, you know, your customers, sanctions, OFAC, it's, they can get bypass all of that. I, if I was the government, I'd close it down. And then just yesterday, BlackRock named JP Morgan as an authorized participant for its spot Bitcoin ETF. And that exact tweet reminds me of what they posted December 28th. Just in, India to ban nine crypto exchanges URLs. And those exchanges are Binance, Kraken, Huawei, KuCoin, Bittrex, Gate.io, Bitstamp, Bitfinex, and MEXC. And if you read through the comment section, there are a lot of people talking about whether or not this is the next China is banning crypto. You have to understand that stuff like this can get undone at the snap of a finger. Don't listen to what people say. Watch what they actually do. Oftentimes, there are hidden agendas. And then they also posted December 29th that Coinbase says they have extensively prepared for a spot Bitcoin ETF approval. And the supposed approval date for these ETFs is January 5th through January 10th of 2024. And it's crazy because I've been talking about this for months and it's right around the corner. And you have to understand these could revolutionize crypto. They could make it to where the older generations don't have to worry about self-custody. Instead, they could treat crypto like a mutual fund, and they could have a third party manage their assets for them, which could help bring trillions of dollars to the industry. So definitely keep your eyes on these ETFs. Now for the final part of this video, we'll go over some technical analysis. So this is HBOR on the daily time frame. And as I said, had you guys taken this ascending triangle trade, you could have made up to 55% gains. But anyways, what am I seeing right now? 
So I'm going to be completely honest. H4 actually looks really bullish to me. The first thing I'm seeing right off the bat is that the RSI and stochastics are starting to reset. In addition, price action swings from a lower low to a higher low. The RSI swings from a higher low to a lower low. That is class A bullish divergence, which typically signals a local bottom has been reached. Now, you could also argue that H bar is forming a bull flag, which break up 68% of the time, and this has a measure move to just under 11 cents. And then my personal favorite thing is that price action is using the 21-day moving average as support. I teach that in all of my videos. Anytime you're looking for a retracement, look for price action to use a moving average as support, and it's literally doing it perfectly. So just to be clear, this does not mean that H bar is guaranteed to pump. Nothing in life is guaranteed, but I would not blame you at all for wanting to take this trade so if i were taking this trade the one thing i'd keep my eyes on is the 21 day moving average if price action were to break beneath the 21 day and then have a bearish retest i would shift bearish in the short term but as long as we can stay above i would not be shocked at all if hbar breaks out now, lastly, I'll go over Bitcoin as it's correlated to most altcoins. So this is Bitcoin on the daily time frame, and it actually started out very similar to HBAR. It was trading in a bull flag and using the 21-day moving average as support. So I said I wouldn't be shocked if it broke to the upside, and it did actually start to break out. However, it could not get above this previous high. And I said in my previous videos, if we could not close a candle above 44,600, I would shift bearish, and we did not end up closing a candle above. So we've had a little bit of a downtrend. But what I'm watching right now, similar to HBAR, is the 21-day moving average. Average. At the moment, we are trading beneath it. Although there is one thing that still gives me hope on Bitcoin. Similar to HBAR, price action swings from a lower low to a higher low. The RSI swings higher low to lower low. Yet again, class A bullish divergence, which typically signals a local bottom has been reached. So just to be clear, in my humble opinion, I actually think HBAR looks phenomenal right now, at least on the daily time frame. However, Bitcoin is a little bit more indecisive. And the reality is that if Bitcoin drops, there's a good chance HBAR will also drop. So you do need to keep that in mind. But also, so as I say in every single one of my videos, macroeconomics significantly outweigh technical analysis. So if all of a sudden the Bitcoin spot ETFs were to get approved, that could skyrocket the entire market. On the contrary, if they get rejected or something terrible happens, that could tank the entire market. So just understand in the short term, crypto is going to be extremely volatile. Anything can happen. But that's about all. Let me know down in the comments how high do you guys think H bar will go next bull run. If you found this content valuable, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day.